This rain, it's finally happening. General. Yes, how's it going? We have 500 remaining soldiers prepared and medically cleared for combat. After receiving the antidote for Retroact Rain, they have reported minimal hallucinations and no adverse effects. However, a few veterans still reported sporadic sightings of phantoms in the rain. I see. Stay alert. We will continue as planned. Report any signs of potential TD outbreaks immediately. We march on to the Norfall Barrens as soon as the rain stops. Aye, sir. Stronger emotional connection to the affected area leads to more intense hallucinations. That's what they said. I should go for another round of inspection. Make sure everything is going as planned. seeing this here. Is it another illusion caused by the retroact rain? This guy packs a serious punch. It's already so powerful in my hands. When I'm just an ordinary person. Now if I was a resonator... Careful. Tassadite weapons are not so safe to operate. Rest assured, I'll take out those monsters before it blows up in my face. The Ministry of Development once designed a weapon for non-resonator units to combat tacit discords. As non-resonators lack the necessary forte to control the weapon, and prolonged exposure to tacitite energy posed health risks, designers limited its output for safety reasons. That's why the weapons couldn't operate at full power. After taking over as general, I revamped the Midnight Ranger's recruitment tactics. Our primary combat units now consist of resonators, with a significant decrease in non-resonator members who have been reassigned to support roles. I still remember the admirable courage in those ordinary people's eyes as they volunteered to join the military. But I cannot let more unnecessary casualties happen. Let's join the Riverside Games after we beat that monster. The Riverside Games? You won first place in the last armed race, remember? And don't back out now. I already counted you in. We haven't held the Riverside Games in years. This should be another illusion from the past. If everything goes well, perhaps we can hold it again this year. We really trust that man. I do think we should be careful. Something's wrong with this rain. Hey, you see? The raindrops. They're falling off. It's the retroact rain. That day, as the rain fell, we watched in uncertainty. Unsure whether it was a sign of hope or disaster. The retroact rain should have been a harmless wave-worn phenomenon. However, the Thronodians' influence enhanced its effect, turning that battle into a brutal slaughter. Our city cannot endure another tragedy like that. The plan is simple. We will use the cliffs as a boundary to divide the battlefield into two. Our ranged units will secure the high ground while our ground forces charge through the narrow valley. Meanwhile, we will deploy resonators to the suspended ruins where most of the tacit discords are located. 
Squad two and three will flank, while General Geshu leads squad one to break their front line. Our goal is to shift from defense to offense and disrupt their strategies. Everything is at stake here. In a word, it's victory or death. Our strategic plan was crafted three years ago, taking into account the terrain and Norfall Barrens. Its value remains crucial today, but now, our enemies are even stronger than before. There could be unknown risk factors. We must devise a new plan for the current situation. General. General. We've got all equipment repaired, tactic weapons adjusted and given to the resonators. Non-resonators are also equipped and prepared for action. But the rain's getting heavier. Should we take shelter for the time being? One of our combat medics claims it's no ordinary downpour, and he strongly advises holding off any moves until it clears. Though young, his sharp intuition has been proven in previous battles. You've seen it firsthand. However, I do agree this will be our last chance at organizing another attack. Sir, his name is... Jihan. General, help, help, help. Please, help me. What do you make of this, Jihan? Maybe you are right. The rain just happened out of nowhere. It's indeed unusual, but... This is our only chance. The enemy we've been yearning to destroy is finally right before us. Asking me to sit back and do nothing because of some phantoms. Silence. Is this your response? Or is it fear holding your tongue? see. You're no different. We fear, we bleed, we suffer, and in the end, we'll all die on the battlefield. But what about your brethren, friends, and comrades, as you witness them viciously slain before your eyes, one by one? still remain silent when their souls demand an answer. There is no other choice. We must trample the pile of corpses at our feet and push on. Keep barking orders. Keep fighting until every last one of those monsters is gone. The Retroact Reign merely creates illusions of past events. My soldiers will not succumb to those hallucinations. I will not allow it. We'll crush anything in our path, no questions asked. And I will pave the way for us all with my forte.
If tens, hundreds, thousands more of my men will die, so be it. We will win this battle by any means necessary. John, I have a question for you. What would you have done on that day if you were in my position? Whatever you say, I'll never answer those brave souls with such silence and cowardice. Prove yourself to me, Gian. General Gersh... General Gershu Lin. We fight to protect what we cherish. And we cherish our comrades not out of cowardice or fear, but out of trust. The trust in their lives worth. I cannot assure you I am always making the right choice, General. But we should never build our victory on top of endless sacrifices. Is that so? As I see it, you're cut from the same cloth, you and I. Perhaps we are indeed, General. I share at least one thing with you. I too will draw my blade to fight for what I believe in, and I'll stop at nothing to see it through. General. General, you look pale. I'm fine. Please go on. We just detected an intense frequency reaction from that tacit field ahead. That moon, it's gradually turning full now, as you predicted. The sky. It looks just like how it was during the battle beneath the Crescent. It's time. Sir, the Midnight Rangers are ready. We await your orders. Attention all troops! Take position and get ready to engage. Sir. When the moon turns full, a roving traveler shall return. The prophecy is being fulfilled. Here they are. They're not coming at us. Are they trying to protect something, or are they waiting for commands? With a TD outbreak of this magnitude and organization, someone must be orchestrating it. Could it be?
It looks almost full now, and the retroact rain falling. Rover? Maybe this is the right time Madam Magistrate was talking about. Citizens of Jinjo, please remain calm and evacuate in an orderly manner as we practiced during previous drills. It's a pre-recorded broadcast message. Our Magistrate saw this coming and she had General Jian devise an emergency plan a long time ago. We knew this was coming, and we were ready, but, oh boy, the amount of TDs is insane. Thanks for coming in time, Rover. It would have taken us much longer to handle this. Oh, Director Tao Chi is here, too. For a better rundown of the situation, you can find her near the city gate. Any update on the protective barrier? We've put in all our resources to repair it, but if those tacit discords keep coming at us, it might not hold up for long. Ah, I presume you must be Rover. Hmm, maybe we've met somewhere before. Anyway, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Tao Chi, a director at the Ministry of Development. I'm in charge of our defense fortifications. Thank you for lending us a hand. It's our defense system against the retroact rain. It does a good job of keeping the city safe from the rain's effects. Once the protective barrier breaks down, tacit discords could manifest from inside Jinzhou City. Rover, remember what I told you earlier? The retroact rain is essentially condensed droplets of remnant energy that fall from the etheric sea. This remnant energy makes it a magnet for tacit discords. It records events from all times and places, allowing those who come in contact with it to witness illusions of past events. That's what we call the Phantoms of Retroact Rain. It kind of works like how resonators resonate with the world. The more you're exposed to the rain, the more realistic those phantoms become. Oh, and here's another interesting fact about the retroact rain. When it's raining across a large area, illusions pulled from the memories of multiple people can manifest at once. Nice catch, Rover. Jinjo has been a battleground for centuries. That's why it has to deal with the Thrinodian that represents a concept of war. And wars will lead to deaths. Once the Retroact Reign reaches its final stage, there'll be thousands of phantoms. Phantoms of dead soldiers and tacit discords. This is the one major threat that has been looming over Jinjo. Our Magistrate ordered the construction of this barrier precisely because of that. Indeed, the Phantoms should only mechanically repeat what they had been doing. They shouldn't have the ability to interfere with reality. But the Retroact Reign can be significantly enhanced through the Thrinodian's power. As a result, said phantoms become increasingly realistic, 
to the point of inflicting real harm on humans. In that battle three years ago, our soldiers got into a gruesome fight against countless tacit discords, either native to Norfolk Barrens or produced by Retroact Rain and endless swarms of phantoms. Phantoms of tacit discords and our fallen soldiers repeated their indiscriminate attacks on everything in their sight. Soldiers could not tell friends from foe. The relentless rain even recreated the brutal deaths of their comrades, etched in vivid detail. The Norfolk Barrens turned into a living hell, and to this day, we can still hear the desperate cries. The battle beneath the Crescent was humanity's first recorded encounter with retroact rain enhanced by Thranodian power. Your previous general sent back valuable video recordings of the rain. Those videos provided crucial information, which allowed nations worldwide to speed up their research on defense against the retroact rain. Our people at the Black Shores have theorized that the Thranodian abnormal moon sightings and the retroact rain may be linked. Yeah, something like that. But it's only a theory. We don't have enough data to verify anything. So, unfortunately, we can't predict retroact rains yet but we know it's closely connected with Thernodians reviving. The TD outbreaks are another sign. The moon just changed in an instant. If this theory turns out to be true, that means... And Jinjo's dealing with what happened three years ago. The Thronodians' revival is never an independent occurrence. They could sense one another through some form of telepathic link. The revival of a Thronodian in Jinzhou will trigger catastrophic events and affect other nations. We gotta hustle back to the Tethys base, recalibrate our lament detector, and warn them before it's too late. Anyway, We'll take our leave now. Please stay safe. That's all we've gathered so far, Rover. The TD outbreaks won't stop before the end of this rain. We must stay alert. Mom, there's another wave of them ahead. Uh, speak of the devil. I'll need to take a very long nap after this. Activate the defense mechanisms!
thank you. Some of us are still fighting in there. We must go help them. so much it's dangerous here let's head back first oh please tell me this is the last one rover your moves are sharp as always dealing with so many tds seem like a walk in the park for you rover did you see that Now, it's almost identical to what we saw three years ago, during the battle beneath the Crescent. I'm afraid... we're already running out of time. Report the situation, please. Madam Magistrate, the barrier has been fully repaired, and we have evacuated all residents. We've successfully minimized the damage. Well done, Director Tauchi. Indeed. It's been a while, Rover. It's been going according to plan, if I may say so. I was made aware of this in advance, and planned out our defense beforehand. Now that we are facing such an emergency, I cannot sit back and wait for Dewey to save us. I will act and see my duty through. This is my decision. I have secured some much-needed aid for our city during my visit to the capital. Also, our experts should be ready by now. Rover, do you still remember Jue's message for you? Now we have raindrops that fall upstream, and the Midnight Rangers General and the Norfall Barons, ready to take on the Overthrax. This must be the right time Jue was talking about. Rover, it's going to be dangerous. You might directly confront a Threnodian. Your eyes look as determined as ever. You will be remembered as a heroic ally in our defense against external threats, regardless of the outcome of this battle. May victory prevail the lasting night, I will pray for your safe return. Rover, I have informed border checkpoints across Jinjiao about your trip to the front line. You have been granted unlimited access to all places. Yang Yang, you're one of our outriders. I hope you can go with Rover and provide assistance. You'll need to pass through a tacit field to reach our base in the Desert Rock Highland. Please be careful. Rover, Yang Yang, I'll be keeping the city safe as a patroller. Do come back in one piece, okay? Rover, I said don't call me that. Never mind, we don't have time for this. It seems the rain is not stopping anytime soon. The city. What if... Rest assured, you can count on me. I will keep everyone safe. Mm, me too. Don't forget us, Lion Dance Troop. We, we got, got this! <laughs> As you can see, everyone's ready to defend our city. Rover, Yang Yang, safe travels. I've informed General Jian that you're heading to his place. He will be meeting up with you soon. May victory prevail the lasting night! Hey! 
defend the south gate. Enemy attack weakening. This wave is almost over. Tell truth with the south. <laughs> are spent. Hold your ground! The discords nearby have been dealt with. Now the city's defense. Please update me on the situation in Jinjo City. Under Madam Magistrate's command, the barrier has been activated and citizens are being evacuated to the safe zone. Washu Academy and Ministry of Development are on standby for further instructions. The Baiju is overseeing operations at the Academy, while Mortifi has arrived at the Ministry. Rest assured, we are all safe in the city. And that Rover, he is heading over to meet you. Yang Yang is coming with him. I see. We have successfully contained the outbreak here at the base. I will go pick them up as soon as possible. The rain's getting heavier. There are signs of tacit discords reviving. Intense frequency fluctuations detected. They'll be passing through that area. I must create a safe passage for them. I need to clear the way for them as quickly as possible. A couple more tacit discords here. Time to get rid of them. Thundering Mephis. The Thrinodian's revival has done significant damage to the environment nearby have gotten even more dangerous out here. The closer we get to Norfolk Barrens, the worse it gets. The streams feel heavy with dread and the smell of blood. There must be a brutal fight going down in the Deserok Island. The tacit field directed Tao Chi mentioned should be right up ahead. We must pass through it to reach our base and find General Jian. I wonder what other anomalies await us ahead. Is that one of our soldiers? Is that one of our soldiers? Those 
soldiers. There are more tasks of discords. Be careful. Swift and resolute. Strike from the shadows. The rhetoric brain's effects are worsening. We must proceed with caution. There, another wounded soldier. The streams are stabilizing. I don't feel anything unusual about him. Are you... Are you Yang Yang? Oh, thank goodness. What happened here? The thundering Mephis. It came back. I'm... I'm part of the Deso Rock Highland Supply Transport Team. This is where our supply station is. We work to keep our soldiers alive. We were on our way. Had to go through this tacit field. Thundering Mephis. The rain brought it back to life, crushing our transport. In the end, I barely escaped. I can't move anymore. This place, it's dangerous. Careful, please. Watch out! It's him, General... Thundering Mephis. We must bring it down to keep pushing forward. Thundering Mephis is a blend of countless fallen soldiers' reverberations. As long as more soldiers are still dying here, it will always return. Not to mention, countless souls of our brave soldiers remain trapped in this rain to this day. General. Sorry. I should have arrived sooner. The honor is mine, Rover. Madam Magistrate and Tao Chi have informed me of your willingness to assist us. Thank you for lending us a hand. I should properly welcome you with Huang Lone's formalities, but as the current situation forbids that, I'll brief you on our plans as fast as possible. I've heard about your deeds from Madam Magistrate. You are a trustworthy ally, according to her. Here, Retroact Rain Antidote, developed by the Academy. While the antidote cannot shield you from its effects entirely, it should at least lessen the hallucinations. 
For someone to show up as a phantom in the retroact rain, two conditions must be met. Prior exposure to the rain and a deep connection to the affected area. You were found in the gorges of spirits only recently, and this is your first time setting foot in Jinjo, ruling out that possibility. Moreover, you possess a similar ability with the legendary hero who once absorbed Thronodian. Jue prophesied about your arrival. I was told you'd come to the Norfall Barrens one day to reclaim your lost power from Overthrax. I'll do everything in my power to help you make that happen. Yes, Madam Magistrate might not be aware of this as it happened before she was appointed. On the day I was selected to be the next general, Jue told me this. Beneath the full moon, guide the returning one to confront Thranodian. From the threat itself, he shall reclaim the power to conquer it. And if you are indeed the returning one mentioned here, we may actually get rid of that monster once and for all. You might have noticed something off about that moon. We call it the Void Plenilune. Once it fully takes shape, Overthrax, the Thronodian of War, would be reawakening soon. It is an ancient terror that reigns over our land, capable of devouring weapon frequencies to enhance itself. The Norfall Barons have become a massive graveyard of weapons after countless battles. Those weapons would have made it even stronger than before. But we must act now. The Void Plenilune is already visible. We must contain the Thranodian swiftly. Any delay could allow it to recover and become harder to deal with. To remain calm in such an extreme situation, your composure is admirable indeed. We'll get into the specifics once we reach our base. I've taken care of all the tacit discords nearby on my way here. The path ahead should be relatively safe now. Keep going and we'll reach the base soon. Thrax's towering statue, built from repurposed weapons and debris, has long loomed over Jinjo as a foreboding symbol of our ongoing struggle. We managed to gravely injure it three years ago, making the statue sink into the water. And now it just resurfaced. Our enemy must be eager to strike. The Vanguard base is right up ahead. Let's hurry over.
Greetings, General. Master Tianxing? Didn't know I'd be seeing you here. Jianqin recently arrived at our base with one of the supply delivery teams. She has been a great help. <laughs> General, you flatter me. I've heard people comparing the Norfolk Barrens to a massive graveyard. Whenever it rains, cries and moans can be heard as if many ghosts are weeping. Master once told me, life and death should follow a natural course. The heavens and the earth form a vast chamber where spirits freely depart and return. Countless brave souls have been trapped here by the evil powers of Overthrax. I want to help set them free. Please follow me. Our main goal is to contain the reviving Thronodian, but we must beware of the tacit discords too. They have shown unpredictability in every past battle. The Academy determined they were not native to the Norfall Barons, and instead had been conjured by a mysterious power. After analyzing their behavior, I believe the source of said power is none other than that statue. While the Overthrax is still weakened, we must seize the opportunity to act. With looming danger from the continued onsets of TD outbreaks and many of our units injured and unable to fight, it is crucial to plan our attack wisely. Please, join me in mapping out the strategic plans. I have split all combat units into three factions. The ranged units team will provide fire support from afar, while the infantry team engages in close combat. Lastly, we have the special task force of Rover, Yang Yang, Janshin, and me. Allow me to introduce Kong Lin, leader of the ranged units team. And this is Yue Hui. He's in charge of the infantry team. This is a topographical map of the Norfall Barrens. The Overthrax's power limits our reach. Outrider scouts can't go beyond the Norfall Barrens and Valley Junction. The deepest we ventured was three years ago, when we discovered the suspended ruins in its hinterland. But the terrain is treacherous, narrow and flanked by high cliffs on both sides, leaving only one path for our troops to travel. On the other hand, our enemies must take the same route if they want to attack us. With the Overthrax reorganizing their frequencies and bringing them back, we will face endless waves of attacks. Every time we cut down an enemy, it gains more power. Time is of the essence. We cannot afford a prolonged battle. We must swiftly and safely get our strongest units in the heart of the battlefield, reach that statue, and take down Overthrax in time. Rover, let's plan carefully and use each team's strength to our advantage. First, are ranged units. Armed with long-range weapons, they can strike from a distance. But we need to strategize based on the terrain, topography, and enemy forces. If we manipulate the terrain to our advantage, our strikes will be more effective and cover a larger range. Where should we deploy the ranged units? Deploying our ranged units high above the valleys in advance. This way, they'll provide cover for our close combat forces while staying safe themselves. We'll use their range advantage to the fullest. It's a smart move. 
Next, the infantry. They have been trained and equipped for close combat. The heart of Norfall Valley is our main battleground, where we'll fight our enemies head on. We need to plan our attack wisely. How should the infantry engage enemy targets? Now that the narrow terrain has dictated an inevitable confrontation, the infantry will attack head on, breaking their line. Then our task force can strike where they're vulnerable. A reasonable choice. Lastly, the special task force, all resonators with powerful abilities, they have superior mobility and combat skills. If the chance arises, they will be responsible for taking down the Overthrax. What should the Special Task Force do? Hmm. Flank tactics aim to avoid direct confrontation and exploit enemy weaknesses to take them down slowly. However, our combat power could be drained by the endless enemy assaults if we don't eliminate the Overthrax in time. We can't afford to prolong engagement. There may be more effective tactics available. What should the Special Task Force do? We'll join our effort to break through their defenses and crush their source of power. This is the only way to completely rout the enemies. It's a risky, but necessary move under our current circumstances. Thank you, Rover. The battle plan is clear. I will now recap our plan. Kong Lin, your team will take the cliffs for fire support. Yuehui, your team will charge enemy lines to pave way for the special task force. Yes, sir! And I'll join Rover, Yang Yang, and Jian Xin to create an opening for our main forces and take down the Thrinodian. Good. Are we all clear on what to do? Our next move is to reclaim the disruptor and break through the ground wave barrier. Rover, do you see that iridescent veil? That's the ground wave barrier. Overthrax set it up to absorb frequencies in the Norfall Barrens without interruption. One of our top priorities now is to protect the disruptor from tacit discord attacks. It's a powerful anti thrinodian weapon from when Jinjo was founded. We need it to break through this barrier. I'll leave it to the professional to explain the details. Greetings, General Jian, Rover. How's the preparation going on your side? We've got good news and bad news. Good news is we've established connection to the disruptor and we're ready to go. Bad news is, the Disruptor's electric capacitor is damaged. Simply put, it's out of power. Fortunately, there should be a backup power outlet. To use the Disruptor, we'll have to repair that outlet first, then wait for a full charge. Any questions? By the way, this is a weapon of mass destruction. The capital would want strict control over its use, I assume. Will they really approve our application? The Magistrate and I have it covered. Trust me. All right. We'll be waiting for the green light. Lastly, we've got more bad news. Baija, please fill us in. Yes. 
Rover, I am currently monitoring the tacit Discord attacks from the Academy to design a safer route for you. We just received word from our soldiers at the emplacement. A large number of tacit discords are targeting the Disruptor, and our troops are doing their best to defend it. The Disruptor has been surrounded by the tacit discords, with more of them slowly closing in. After we recapture the nearby emplacement, it will take some more time for the Disruptor to recharge. You may need to hold out a little longer. I'll send you the coordinates of the Disruptor and its backup energy port. We wish you the best of luck. I trust we all understand the situation now. Rover, Yang Yang, please go and secure the Disruptor and fix its backup energy outlet. John Shin, please stay and guard the base. I'll draw those tacit discords away. Let's get moving. <laughs>